let's take a look at how to identify simple and complex solid shapes. What kind of shape is this? Is it a rectangle, a triangular prism, or a cylinder? Well, a rectangle would be a flat or two-dimensional object, so it's definitely not a rectangle. Prisms and cylinders are both three-dimensional. So you want to think about which one has circular bases, because I can see in my image, right, the base at the top here is a circle. And if I visualize the base that it's standing on, that's also a circle. So our three-dimensional object with two circular bases is called a cylinder. What kind of shape is this? A parallelogram, a hexagon, or a cylinder? Well, it's definitely not a cylinder. We saw that a second ago was a three-dimensional object. Parallelograms and hexagons are both flat or two-dimensional objects, but hexagons mean a, a shape with six sides. I definitely don't have six sides here, I only have four. So it is a parallelogram, and a parallelogram is a four-sided shape where opposite sides are parallel to each other. So if you look at the top and bottom sides, they're parallel, meaning they would never intersect, even if you continued them forever. And if you look at the left and right sides, those sides are also parallel to each other, meaning those sides would never intersect. So this would be a parallelogram. What kind of shape is this? A triangular pyramid, a cube, or a rectangle? Well, a triangular a pyramid has triangles for the faces. I definitely don't see any triangles here. So it's either a cube or a rectangle. Well, a rectangle is a two-dimensional or flat object with right angles. So this would be a cube. A cube describes a three-dimensional object where all of its faces are squares. So you can think of that as a Rubik's cube if you've ever played with one of those, or maybe a die. What kind of shape is this? Well, we've seen this one before. This is our three-dimensional shape with circular bases. Remember that was called a cylinder. What kind of shape is this? a cube, a rectangular prism, or a hexagon? Well, keep in mind, a cube we just saw was three-dimensional figure with all squares for the faces. A rectangular prism is three-dimensional as well. This would be a hexagon. A hexagon is a two-dimensional or flat figure with six sides. If we count this, it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So it's a hexagon. What kind of shape is this? A square, a rectangular prism, or a hexagon? Well, a square is a four-sided figure with right angles and congruent sides, so this does not look like a square. A rectangular prism is three-dimensional. This is not a prism because it looks like a flat shape. This would be a hexagon again. Remember that means six sides, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. What kind of shape is this? A rectangle, a cube, or a triangle? Well, a triangle would have three sides. A cube is three-dimensional. This is definitely a rectangle, right? That means it's got four sides. Opposite sides are congruent to each other or the same length, and it has what looks like 90-degree angles. What kind of shape is this? A square, a cone, or a hexagon? Well, this would be a square, right? It's a four-sided figure. All four sides look like they're the same length. It looks like we have 90-degree angles. A cone would be three-dimensional. A hexagon would have six sides. So this would be a square. What kind of shape is this? A pentagon, a triangle, or a hexagon? Well, a hexagon would be six sides. A triangle would be three sides and a pentagon would be five sides. If you count, this has one, two, three, four, five sides, so we would call this a pentagon. What kind of shape is this? A rectangular pyramid, a triangle, or a cylinder? 
Well, rectangular pyramids and cylinders are both three-dimensional objects. This is a flat or two-dimensional object. What do we call a three-sided flat object? A triangle.